Okay, so today we're going to take a look at the Deco Brothers Electronic Kitchen Scale. Now, being the vaping computer guy, I use this mainly for weighing out uh, juice when making my own DIY juice, but this is a general uh, scale. It uh, is 8.7 inches by 5.9 inches by about three quarters of an inch high. And um, let's take a look at it. All right, the actual scale, which has a nice size. Uh, base to easily fit small items like uh, vaping juice and things on, but you also can fit, uh, you know, a bowl and, and so forth for kitchen use. All right, you have decent instructions here. Very nice, easy to read, easy to follow. All right, you get a nice little card from them thanking them, thanking you for being their customer, and uh, includes a lifetime warranty. It has an email address, a phone number and a website, uh, which is very nice that they give you that information. Um, one thing they do include here, and they do mention when you buy this, at least they did to me, that a lot of people would return it or call them back, uh, you know, contact them, uh, saying they can't switch it from ounces to grams uh, using this display, because a lot of people don't seem to realize that the controls to do that are actually on the bottom, right here. Okay? so. It did come with batteries pre-installed, and you are able to take out a little tab that came with it in order to reveal that. And this is the switching of your units from ounces to grams. Okay. When the device is here, you can zero out the device. You can see here we have 5.3, 5.4 fluid ounces. And just giving you a general idea to see, uh, you know, obviously it weighs things. It does work fine. Um, I will show you the one problem that I had with it when we get to the end. Press the mode button here and you see we're at 10.3 fluid ounces. You can go here and you're back to pounds, ounces, and uh, a tenth of an ounce. Okay, and you can toggle between those two. If we turn it over and we press the unit button, we're now in milliliters. We can zero it out. All right. 167, 168 milliliters. Press the unit button. And we're back to pounds and ounces. So actually, let's see here. There you go. All right, so now you're in grams. You can zero it out. 176, 77, 78 grams. Okay, it's very sensitive, which I like, 180 grams. All right. You always want to zero back out when you're done. Press that unit button again, and we're back to pounds and ounces. Now, the only issue I have with this, very nice scale for the $10 or so uh, that it costs. It does a great job. It works very well. It's very sensitive in all corners. Okay, You can see there about 2 grams, two I'm sorry, 2 ounces. All right. You always want to do it in the middle, though. You know, 2.4. As you see, if you just do on the side, you're not going to get as accurate a reading as you want. But doing it in the middle here, I've found the readings to be very accurate. All right. But I'll show you the one issue that I have with it. Because of the design, and you can see here the feet are here and here. This foot would have been a lot better if it was closer to the front. I understand they want to do it underneath the scale to make the scale uh, more stable when you put something on it. But the problem is you have this elevated part here that is now where here you got about two inches that is elevated here and in the back you only got about three quarters of an inch so what happens and let's see if we can do it this way to show you a little better all right is a lot of times you go to press this you see that see what's happening down here you go to press it and that's coming up even if I press the button at the top all right so it's not the end of the world because you're pressing that when there's nothing on it. The whole point is to zero it out. But I do find that it does tip over at times when you do that. So you zero it out. And by the way, mode buttons here, as you saw before, you could toggle between them. All right. But yeah, it does, if you watch the back up here, it does tip over. I wish it wasn't doing that because what I do at times is if you're trying to measure out something, let's say, for vaping juice, all right? You put something on here, and you might put in, you know, whatever. You might put in five, four ounces, let's say, of a fluid, and then you want to zero it, and then you want to put another couple ounces of fluid. Well, 
you know, and that's how you build up and make your DIY vaping juice or cooking or whatever you want to do. Um, but the problem is every time you press this, you can see here it moves because if you press it down here, you're really going to raise the back up. So I really wish there was another set of feet towards the bottom here, which is what I'm going to do is put another set of feet on the bottom there to make that stable, but something that they should have thought of and they should have done. Um, if they had done that, I would be able to say this is a perfect product. Uh, but for the price, and if you're not trying to be absolutely, you know, completely accurate, uh, down to the tenth of an ounce, but you're just doing general DIY stuff and kitchen stuff, uh, then I'd say it's fine. But definitely wish they had more feet in the bottom there. So there you go. That's your review of the Deco Brothers uh, Kitchen Scale, and you can find links below to it on Amazon and some more information, technical specs about it as well. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and check back soon for more videos.